get through college, for better or for worse. So give it up for Derek DeMaez. Hey, how we doing tonight, Campbell, California? Yeah. Doing good? It's not funny. This is not funny, okay? Welcome. Um, I'm straight. I'm straight as an arrow, okay? Not gay, I'm straight, but for the right price, you know, that straight arrow can bend just a little bit. Alright? Just kidding, it's a joke, people. You think I'm serious? That was a fucking joke. Okay, but if you have five thousand dollars, buddy, outside, I'll suck your, you know. Times are tough right now, is what I'm trying to say. Times are getting real tough. Five thousand dollars, I will do something nasty with you, buddy. You. Okay? Just you. Okay? <laughs> Jokes. Uh, did everybody here have a good Thanksgiving? How's it Thanksgiving? Right? Thanksgiving's good times. Um, I took a fucking risk. Just like I did at the beginning of the show. I took a big risk. That was a brand new joke, by the way. Oh, Lord. Um, but meet me after it's <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding! These are fucking jokes, people, all right? I took a risk, I took a gamble on a four day old turkey leg. Okay? Oh, no. no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. So I was, you know, I get home and there's a turkey leg sitting in there. I cook the turkey because I'm a fucking savage, all right? I do the cooking, I wear an apron, I look all cute and stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, so four days later, there was one turkey leg left, and I said, look it, it still looks delicious. So I, what do I do? I fucking eat it. What happened? I was puking at four in the morning and shitting toxic waste out of my ass. Literally, it's disgusting. It's not funny, you're laughing again. This is not funny, this is real shit. I don't even do comedy anymore, guys. This is self-therapy. I come up here, I complain about stuff like being a dad, you know what I mean? About old turkey. Oh, okay, you don't know what I mean. Good, you two are geniuses, okay? Cause you're over there, and all the weirdos were over here. No? Okay, it's just me, you know, I'm the weirdo over here. So, Moral of that story, basically, is if you have turkey that you cooked four days prior, don't eat that shit. Unless you want to be shit in toxic waste. Right? No? I was food, I had food fucking poisoning. It was terrible. Welcome. Come right over here, guys. The job interview is right over here. Okay, okay. Uh, our relationships. I've been in a relationship my longest three freaking years, guys. Hashtag winning. Three years. Anybody in a relationship? No? You got a couple people in relationships? Worst decision of my fucking life, being in a relationship. Every day I wake up, I'm not trying to fucking blow my brains out. I'm like, why did I commit to this? Why did I commit to this relationship? We got people laughing over here like it's fucking... No, I'm kidding. But not only that, we have a two-year-old son together, so that's kind of cute, right? Having a kid? Second worst decision of my fucking life. Put two guns up to my fucking head. Like this. Like, blow my fucking brains out right now. Why do you think I'm here on a Tuesday night drinking? You think it's for comedy? Yes, it is. Uh, my son is already asking for Christmas presents. That's annoying as fuck. It's like, Daddy, can I get a Christmas present? Christmas presents, please. I'm like, fuck no. You already fucked up on Halloween, son. Like he had a, a Hulk costume and the mask was falling off his face. And I was like, look at you, you look retarded. You look stupid. I'm not gonna buy you any Christmas presents, okay? Stop asking me for Christmas presents, you're annoying me. Just like when you ask for the last slice of pizza, it's like, daddy, can I have the last slice of pizza? I'm like, fuck no. I bought that for five dollars, that little Caesar's pizza. No? Not funny? Okay, fuck everybody in here. <laughs> I was kidding. You guys like that when I say fuck everybody in here? Yes. It really hurts my heart when I say that. I don't want to have to say that stuff. Okay. I recently came back from Chicago. I took a second trip. Anybody been out to Illinois? Beautiful place. San Jose is too unaffordable now. 
So I have $3,000 for a nice two bedroom apartment in San Jose, right? Expensive. So I went to Chicago. As soon as I got off the plane, I got shot at. I was like, oh shit, this is not gonna fucking work. Plus my mom is in my ear. She's like, have you lost your mind? Are you fucking stupid? You wanna move to Chicago and get shot or freeze? I said, hey, Beats fucking paying $3,000 a month at a fucking apartment to have some homeless guy jacking off right in front of your fucking apartment. Okay, mom? You fucking, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna go there, all right? My mom's gonna kick my motherfucking ass. She hears that. Just kidding. Yeah, but Chicago's nice. Uh, San Jose has a really bad gang problem. Okay, it's always had a bad gang problem. But there's this new gang that I'm really scared of. Okay, I was at a Starbucks wearing a Facebook shirt and this guy behind me, he's like, where are you from, my friend? I was like, I'm from San Jose, born and raised. He's like, you better recognize this is Google territory, motherfucker. Google. And I was like, holy shit, I'm going to fucking Chicago. I'm gonna get shot up by real guns, not by laser beams. Or get run over by self-driving cars like Teslas. It's fucking real shit. Straight up, man, these Google territory, they're taking over San Jose. I'm, I'm fucking scared, okay? I'm, I'm so scared, I'm frightened. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, guys, so like I said, this isn't comedy I do, I do fucking stand-up reality, and I just drink and fuck it all, all right? Thank you, guys.